Hey everybody and welcome to another Jamovi tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about some new, the new feature in Jamovi version 2.00. So Jamovi, the folks at Jamovi, uh, Jamovi.org released the newest version. And while the previous version was 1.8 and this one's 2.0, this is not a massive change. There is a very significant change to what uh, the interface looks like and what the interface does for the user. So. I think they released this um, the day before the day that I am recording this. So this is uh, hot off the presses version 2.00 uh, or 2.0.0. Uh, you can go get those, at, like I said, at jamovi.org. So what is this new change? Well, it's the change in the, the tabs up here. So we've got variables, data, analyses, and edit. Previously, you will have data, analyses, and edit. And to get the variable information, you had to click on the double click on the um, column header for the variable. And that is still the case. So if you're comfortable with that, that is the case. But if you are a user of SPSS, you are familiar with the variables tab on the data. So you can either switch from data view or you can switch to variable view. And variable view, much like now this new tab, makes the variables rows. And um, it puts it all here. You double, you can double click on these and you can change what they are. Double click on the um, the icon or you can just quickly change their name. If you close this, you can change their name. You, this could be um, subject number or something like that. And then you enter the description here it's if you really wanted to. I very rarely enter descriptions, but, you know, in case you use a coding system for your variables and like it's a random code, you can say, well, this is the entire thing. So uh, this is uh, the subject number. Right. And so if I click off of that, that's saved. And if I double click on that again, it will put it, it, it populates the whole uh, bit of information here. Right. So uh, it's just an easy way to look at your entire list. So let me open some data from um, the data library. OK, so I opened the SIM SIM. This is found in the <clears throat> if you go in the data library, it's found in the Snow RMM, which is for the Rosh model. Okay, the Ross mixture model for Jamovi. You have to install the RMM package for Jamovi. And the reason why I can get this is because, um, oh, I, I do have them all here. Duh. <laughs> um, I do have them all there. So yeah, that's how you find that. So Rosh MM, because I installed the Rosh uh, modeling uh, R package for Jamovi. So that's how you find that. Okay, so I'm going to uh, embiggen this. Okay. And uh, so here are all of my mo modules. Okay, so here we have a lot of data. And, you know, previously we couldn't, I mean, I've got a decently large screen for 1080p like I can move this to here and I can still have a large but I still have to scroll you know scrolling's not as fun right so if I need to find a variable and I'm just trying to search up here and I'm like ah, I don't know where it is well then we can go into variable view and there they all are and I can still I mean I don't have to but you know I can move this back and forth and keep it going and so here I have all of my variables and much like you can do in the data, you can set up, you can compute, you can transform, add, delete. You do the same thing here. We have the edit. So that'll bring down, that's the same thing as double clicking on the uh, uh, measure type icon here uh, to click, click on it again, closes it. We can compute a variable, same thing uh, in the data. It's the same compute module. And then we can transform. Okay, we can do the same transformation kind of thing that we can do in in the data tab. Um, and then we can add, delete, and then we can do filters. And the filters are by rows because all of the variables are now by rows which is um which is awesome so like i said it's not a huge change but it does change the way jamovi um adds to its usefulness we'll say well we'll say that so it, it just makes it it's just another uh ease sort of thing where you don't have to worry too much about um finding how to do something because it's literally right there staring at you in the face and so that is how you use the new variables tab in jamovi if you have any questions or comments or feedback, please leave, please leave that down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please leave a like or subscribe if you feel like it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.